What up, guys? Yep, we got another Oktoberfest going today, and it is a, it is a Hacker Pashore original Oktoberfest. So we got another one of them German originals that we will be cracking open right now. I'm excited to get into this one. Let's do it to it. Just love, I don't know, there's something about the, the way this the, these particular bottles like curve in more suddenly, more abruptly. I just, I just like it. You know, it's the same kind of thing that the Paul Ander beer has. It's just, I don't know why I like it so much. Even though I think that kind of cuts into your, the amount of beer you get, because these are all like 11.2 percent instead of 12. But yes, it is brewed in accordance with the German law of purity of 1516. But okay, although of course since you're only pouring 12 ounces instead of the 16, it always looks a little, you know, where's my last inch? But this is very clear. I can't really see it. But yeah, it's a very clear beer. Very little head. But all right, let's get into the review and get into the smell. It has kind of a an autumn grain to it. Like if you were kind of walking through the fields during like a Midwestern, like following a Midwestern rain and you're walking past like a field of like just cranes. It has kind of like that wet, um, not um, soggy, not um, skunky, but it just has like a wet grain kind of thing. Not wet bread, just like rain had just, just fell on like a, a wheat field or something like that. Something like that. It has almost like a tea aroma too to it. Like a black tea almost. It still has a bit of that kind of familiar, um, like kind of raisiny, a bit of a charcoaly kind of aroma that you get a lot with the, these uh, these Marsins or Marsins. You don't want to say Marzen. Yeah, because I like Marvin the Marvin the Marzen. Why is there not a beer called that? Oh man, now I'm very disappointed. Somebody needs to make a Marvin the Marzen beer and have like the Looney Tunes character on it. Come on, man. Oh, now I just <laughs> I'd be disappointed for the rest of the night. I'm starting to get, and now that it's kind of opening up, I'm getting a little more of that, that, that kind of barley aroma to it. But yeah, kind of a barley, a black tea, a little bit of smoke. I think it smells pretty good. Uh, so I will recommend it for aroma. And now let's get into the taste. Okay, I like this. This is very flavorful. This is a, one of the more flavorful beers, I'd say. It has a bit of a, almost like, like, like a, like a red or black grape sweetness to it. Just a hint. There's definitely a little more sweetness, fruit sweetness to it than you get and a lot of the other ones I've had so far. So more sweet. I don't get a lot of that um, barleyness on my tongue. Um, quite frankly, it was, it was almost non-existent. Oh, well, there you go. That makes sense why the bottle is similar to Planner. It is imported by Planner USA. So do do do. It has the same bottle. It makes sense now. But yeah, there is a, uh, it still has, I feel like a bit of like that black tea kind of taste to it. Almost like, like an Earl Grey kind of thing where you took, you had like a beer and you let uh, a bag that had already seeped in your morning tea and you kind of threw it in your, your beer for a little bit. It has just a hint of that 
Earl Grey or Irish morning or whatever those the morning teas are. It has a, I feel like a hint of that, a hint of like a, like a, a black grape sweetness to it. There's a bit, just a hint of like a, a charcoal smoke. And I feel like it goes together very, very well. I really like it. Yeah, this is another one of those where it's just perfect. This is like a perfect Oktoberfest beer that you're looking for. I'm gonna, uh, mm, man. I had had the Paulaner as my favorite just taste-wise so far. This might knock it off. It's been like 12 Oktoberfest beers since I've had it, so the Paulaner, so I'm gonna have to like re pick out my for top couple and recompare it, but I think I might like this one a hair better, to be honest. But you can't really go wrong with either, either of them. But anyways, I'm going to recommend it on taste. I'm really digging it. I think this is a great tasting beer, a great tasting Oktoberfest beer. It drinks easy. It's got some interesting notes that I'm not picking. Or I have not picked up in any other uh, Oktoberfest beers so far. So that's going to help it later on in the rating. But yes, I am going to recommend it for uh, I mean for uh, taste. Uh, next category is dive price and. I believe this was two twenty-five. It's either two bucks or two twenty-five. Again, a very fair price for a German import, and you know something that's made you know specifically for Oktoberfest. So, I mean, it's a, a seasonal German beer made just for this kind of time of the year. I. I I mean, I guess they are popular enough where they could be made year-round, but I'm going to guess, I don't know if they still follow the make and mirror, make, make and march right for our, uh, Oktoberfest kind of thing. I don't know if they still follow that, those guidelines, but in terms of value for price, yeah, I mean, if I can get a German beer, a quality German beer for two bucks, sign me up. Um, so I will recommend it for that. Um, okay, next category is distinction. How distinct is it? And this is where those extra, those extra just little tasting notes come into play. It's smooth without being watery. And it has just uh, the subtle hints, like I was saying, of that, like, like the black tea kind of thing, and uh, like a, a grape skin or something in there to, to make it a little more interesting than a lot of the other Oktoberfest beers I've had. And so I really like that. It sets it apart enough in a very crowded category of Oktoberfest beers to make it stand out. So yes, I am going to recommend it. Um, for distinction because it's not only made well it tastes a, a different enough for it to be like you can actually pick this out of a lineup I feel like a lot of the beers if I just line them up and drink them all one by one I wouldn't like a lot of them would be very difficult to do um, of course if I was a little more experienced I could probably pick a decent number of them um, I could probably pick out some of the, the American ones more so um, because a lot of them are a bit rough around the edges but this one I think I could definitely pick out of a lineup thus far because it's just unique enough to stand out. So I am going to recommend it for a distinction. Uh, next category is drinkability and absolutely it drinks so well. It is... It drinks really well and it's the kind of beer that you could get a six pack and go to like a friend's house to watch a game or just kind of hang out and you wouldn't feel like you know drinking after two or three you'd be like i gotta switch it up um because some of them i've had so far it's just like yeah after one or two it's like i, I gotta hit something else this is just two something or other this one you can get the six pack and not a problem you don't need to switch it's just great tasting so yes i am gonna recommend it on um drinkability and last category is would i buy it again and yes, I will. This is one of those beers that it's just like, this might, again, take the place of Paul Lanner, um as the head of the pack for me thus far. It might be doing, it might do that. So 
yes, I will be recommending it. I will be getting it again. This is, um, I'm liking this a lot. And uh, it's just, it has the enjoy before end of date. And at first, I saw the six for the month. I was like, am I supposed to drink this before Oktoberfest? But uh, no, it's for next year. Um, probably because they want you to drink it before the next batch of Oktoberfest comes out. But yes, I will be, uh, be getting it again. That means it got the full perfect score, which means it gets the official two dudes stamp of approval. And only this and the, other, and the one other Polyamory beer so far has the stamp. So keep that in mind if that means anything to you. But yes, this is absolutely right at the top, cream of the crop kind of thing. So that is my review of Hacker Pure original Oktoberfest. Um, what do you think? Have you guys had it before? You know, it's kind of one of those, it's classic old school German Oktoberfest beer. Um, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you go to? Is it one of your favorite? Or are you more of a, you'd rather stick with a kind of a local Oktoberfest beer? Or do you just go for whatever's cheapest or tastes the best? I don't know. Let me know. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe. I'll be coming out with as many of these Oktoberfest beers as I can before September 20th. And then once that hits, I will come out with my favorite five or ten or something. We'll, we'll see. If it's if, if a lot of them suck from here on out, it'll only be five. But, um, yeah. So for myself and for Hack Up Shore, uh, our original Oktoberfest, take it easy.